free to insult anybody, to do whatever thing he likes. But if you go with a warrant of arrest, he will not be able to escape from it. Well, everything I wanted to say about the Inspector General Police has been said there. I'm calling on him, a very respected, intelligent officer. He has all the qualities to be one. To step out in the interest of this country. Not to, not to allow personal relationship to undermine the constitution of Nigeria, which Wite has breached. And nobody is talking to it. Mr. President so, took an oath to defend this constitution. But today, he's having himself alone, cannot bring the constitution of Nigeria. But I managed to produce this address. And uh, you will remember on the 24th of May this year, I addressed a letter in this hall, open letter, delivered to the Inspector General of Pol uh, Police uh, to see that government policemen, public officers were not being used illegally in supporting Wiki and his men. Up to today, I've not had anything from him, and I still believe that he has not changed. That's why I said he should now arrest him with a with, uh, with, uh, warrant. And uh, because we can believe that the only person in this country today that is above him is Mr. President. He's free to insult anybody, to do whatever thing he likes. But if you go with a warrant of arrest, he will not be able to escape from it. Well, everything I wanted to say about the Inspector General Police has been said there. I'm calling on him, a very respected, intelligent officer. He has all the qualities to be one. To step out in the interest of this country. Not to, not to allow personal relationship to undermine the constitution of Nigeria, which Wite has breached. And nobody is talking to him. Mr. President so, took an oath to defend this constitution. But today, he's having himself alone, cannot breach the constitution of Nigeria because section one of the constitution is very clear on that. Every decision of the Constitution binds everybody, every authority, including Mr. President. But for him today to run a blind eye and allow one of his ministers to make a mess of this country, today ministers that have been automatically removed by the Constitution by, by, by moving to APC, I still parading themselves as, as members of the House of Assembly with the Speaker acting, taking, uh, taking uh, harassing the governor, taking him to all sorts of courts. Today, Wike is controlling all the judiciary. He does whatever he had one, one judge, Motor Show, who is giving up all the decisions. But the situation is very clear. Section 109 of the Constitution is very clear. PDP is intact. PDP held its, um, uh, held its um, uh, neck meeting on the 18th of April. We they attended. Fulbright, Governor Fulbright attended. The, uh, the, the chairman of the Board of Trustees attended. The acting chairman attended. 
So what? Where, where is the British? The secretary attended. But today, Winke is saying that they are still members. What have they done? They now said that the 27 members did not properly resign from PDP. Therefore, they were still members of the House. It is this case of retaining these people as members of PDP that they wrote a letter to the Court of Appeal counteracting the, the one written by the legal advisor of the party. What a grievous fellow. Winke is already dancing naked in the, pub, in the marketplace with one leg in APC, with the other leg in PDP. But he had failed and would be consumed. Could you imagine? Winke recently insulted the members of the Board of Trustees, starting with the chairman, Senator Wambara, who was number three man in Nigeria during the person just time, who was the president of the Senate. When Wicke was in school, uh, he was just doing some little jobs. He called him after the, uh, that com uh, uh, conference um, meeting, the chairman of the Board of Trustees, Wambara, stood up to make a speech at the next meeting that they should look into all cases of uh, infringement, people around the party. Five days after, Wambara received a letter written in red ink by, uh, by Wiki to him. And he said, Wambara, Haba, how would your late wife feel now that you're embarrassing yourself and that of your family? You are a disgrace to your generation. The Udiva State issues matter will consume you in writing. And I've already secreted. Recently again, I encourage them to meet the governor in River State, and they, they did. But 12 of them, past governors, past senators, and so on, they were all there. And it was agreed that the board of trustees should try everything to bring, them to, uh, to bring the party together. Mwike said he will never attend any meeting of the board of trustees. They are barriers that they will, and so forth. Abusing everybody. And some people are saying that, oh, there should be a reconciliation committee. To do what? To do what? So I thought, Wiki has gone beyond. He has something else about this structure. Whether his own structure is money, he stored in river said which he must protect. Or something else. Otherwise, as I said, properly explained by, uh, by Chief Ada George, he spoke to me that he was, as I, as I said in paper, that he was a member of uh, Okilo's government, the first civilian governor. When Okilo left, he became the governor and he inherited the structures. When uh, he left, I mean, uh, this uh, orderly was his deputy. He handed over them to him. But meanwhile, warning butter came as I explained in my paper that we should be taken as the chairman of all the upper local government council because we were working very hard as a judge and bail lawyer there, collecting rent. And it was made by Odili because he couldn't make it before the coup took place. Now, this same man was handed over, handed over the structures to Ameji. 
amazing and uh, then wicked became amazing uh, uh, chief of staff uh, who took over the the the, the structures when Jonathan and his wife imposed wicked on our people as governor of River State. So he is saying now that he will he will protect these structures until his death. But he had earlier told us that the main reason for keeping the structures is because he wanted to give uh, wanted the uh, president uh, Tinubu to win in 2027. If he's saying that he will choose the structures on the desert, it means there's something more than that. That's why I'm calling on the police. Inspector General of Police to investigate. Nobody's above the law. Otherwise, Nigeria will soon be facing additional trouble. The, the youths of those 13 states are not going to keep quiet and allow Wike to burn their states. And then once again, I'm calling all, all the people who says that Fubra is the leader of PDP in River State to come out. But those are those that I mentioned, the secondos and others, who used to sit with the Wike, dine with him, eat with him. Compromise every every every, uh, every aspect of the search with him. To to lead, come out, get people to follow the governor. Otherwise, it's not enough to to say who is wicked. So, I'm appealing to everybody in the River State, organizations, come out and stand by the governor. No, no violence, nothing. So once again, thank you and God bless. You. Politics. That's why I made the statement. But unfortunately, when I got back to Abuja, I had a press conference. And Punch corresponded, asked me a question to assess the cor corruptibility of this government, of this president, starting with Abbasanjo, which I did. I thought Abbasanjo was now, it's true, he brought the FCC, he brought ICPC, but today he's one of the most corrupt presidents in this, in this world. I said so. I said, but uh, Yaradwa, man was sick, but he never wanted Ibori and others who, uh, who sponsored his election to be, to be pers uh, persecuted and uh, to be sent to court. But he did nothing. He was clean, man. As for Jonathan, nice man. But I do not think Jonathan had the political will to face this type of dangerous um, corrupt, corrupt practices in Nigeria now. And um, Mr. Ruben Abati took it against me that I betrayed uh, Jonathan, that uh, tomorrow I will call the Buhari my, my son. So I answered back, back, and the whole thing was settled. But I said in that meeting, that anything affecting the interests of Nigeria, I will fight, whether I'm inside the party or not. Did I not say so? Yes. I said so. So, my son, what I'm saying today is outside party politics. It affects the people of River State, affects the people of Nigeria. And while I'm still alive, I must make my contribution to stop it. Because I fear only God, no human being.
I respect people. This is our government. Whether we elected him or not, we elected him. And therefore we must support. He is supporting. We must be listened to. When Nigerians, nobody is a first class citizen, nobody is a second class citizen. So at my 97, I'm going to 98. I'll continue to talk. Thank you. Does that answer your question? Yes, sir. Thank you, Daddy. Yes. I think we're... That's a very good question. I've done my homework. I'm about 60 years at the bar. Even though I'm not a son because of uh, I've been government job. I was a brilliant lawyer. So I've done my homework. There are various laws of this country. I've even got some uh, senior lawyers to help me who have now discovered that Wike has breached a number of Nigerian laws, public laws, and so on. He has committed crime. And for him to, uh, to call and uh, to, uh, to say that he will burn states belonging to PDP governors and so on. It's reasonable. It's reasonable. All of them totality. We can have committed treason. Is it your worry that committed treason but say, I call for revolution in Nigeria? Is that what you are saying? Where did he say it? In what ground? At what ground? What impact did he make? But here is a, a serving minister in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, saying that he will burn the states of his colleagues, he will burn their hands and they won't sleep again in their houses, he will, he will, he will uh, do everything to, uh, to disorganize the governments of those states. Nobody, no governor, no minister can go to that extent. It's a breach of the Constitution. So, he has committed a series of offenses. We will come out after some time. They picked in ways they make my man.